Hello Capricorn and welcome to your past, present, and future tower reading for April 2021. We are going to start uh, with a card to look at overall energy for you guys for April and then we'll pull some past, present, and future energies. So let's get right in Capricorn and see what's happening. Show us Capricorn. Oh, wow, look at you. You got the dragon with the supernatural coming through. Excellent. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Ooh, Capricorn. So, in the month of April, this is spirit saying, Know that you're a badass. Don't second guess it, don't question it. Anybody has uh, anything to say on the contrary, ignore it. This is spirit giving you kudos, patting you on the back, but also talking about your wisdom and in, in your intuition and saying, you know what's right for you. And you've got to trust that Capricorn, no matter what, like, what are you feeling? Follow that. Even if it seems odd or uh, somebody thinks you're crazy, you know what you know and you feel what you feel. And this is spirit confirming for you in the month of April to trust that no matter what. And with the supernatural, there's a lot of spirits around you, angels, passed on loved ones, spirit guides uh, helping you out. And with the shape shift, I do see like, um, like a, a gateway a breakthrough type of energy for you guys in the month of April. So let's pull your past, present, and future energies. So we have the orchid with sexual energy. And that's past. We have the present with uh, the swamp and face your fears. And sunshine, shine forth for the future. Okay, so with this orchid, um, even though it says sexual energy, that does not have to just uh, be attached to, um, you know, getting together with somebody in that capacity. That's talking about the sacral chakra, which is um, sexual energy, but that's also our creativity, um, our emotional center, our um, nurturing, our uh, divine feminine energy, whether we're male or female. And that is what's being referenced for the past. And so with this, um, when you get out of balance in your chakras, especially like your lower chakras, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, which is um, the, you know, the material chakra, and then the water chakra, the emotional chakra, and um, your fire chakra, your power chakra, divine feminine, divine masculine, those energies, um, if those get out of balance, that's when you really start questioning yourself and what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And Spirit is saying, you know, um, quiet your mind, don't overanalyze, because you're feeling um, an intuitive prompting, a pull for a reason, whether it's about a person, a situation, um, a move you should make, your next step, um, some idea you want to birth into reality, no matter what it is, Spirit is saying, go for it. Don't let uh, fears hold you back. What you are feeling about a person, a situation, or yourself, or your future is the truth. It, you can trust this information. You're coming through as the wise old sage. All right, with this dragon energy and with that, all that spiritual energy around you, you're being led down the right path, shine forth. And what that means is what you feel about a person, a situation, an idea, um, what you want to do, you're right. 
And so if this is about some sort of goal of yours, you're going to have success um, towards the end of April or going into the first part of May. If this is uh, something you're thinking and feeling about a person, you're going to be validated around that time. If this is like an idea that you want to try or something you want to do and other people just aren't, aren't, aren't on board with it, like they think you're crazy or you're out of your mind or it's too risky, um, by the end of April you're going to be laughing in their face like, hey, I told you so. Because your soul knows what it knows, Capricorn, and it's speaking to you in April, giving you information about a person, a situation, or uh, what you must do for some success, and you can trust it, follow it through. All right, let's pull some tarot. Knight of Swords, Judgment, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, wow, yeah, the truth is going to be known to you, Capricorn, whether about um, somebody else, a situation, or even a truth for yourself, Ten of Cups in the Crown, uh, near future we have this Three of Swords, your energy, Queen of Wands, energy around you. Look at that. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune. Your soul knows what it knows. Hopes and fears. You don't want to make waves. You don't want to um, rock the boat. And Eight of Wands as your outcome. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have victory. You're gonna prevail. You're gonna have success, Capricorn. So. Here it is. This is talking about the, the past energy, which could be what you are living through right now or have just gone through. Okay, the Ace of Swords. This is a truth of your soul being spoken to you. And it's up to you to follow it through. And um, I do see a little bit of hesitancy because maybe for some of you, what you want to do or what you're feeling you need to do or what you're feeling about a person or situation um, you know like speaking your truth and taking action may bring sadness to somebody and you want to avoid conflict like you've been trying to avoid conflict and it's like you've just been waiting for the right way or the right moment to express yourself and it's going to happen in the month of April Capricorn the moment will present itself and spirit is encouraging you to follow through on whatever this Ace of Swords is for you, like what is your soul telling you? Or if you're like, I don't feel my, like my soul has told me anything recently, just give it a few days after you watch this reading because you got judgment right there as well. And um, that's the spirits around confirming to you what your soul is telling you to do for yourself, with the person, or about a situation like your soul's guiding you and it's giving you the answer and I see hesitancy because you don't want to hurt anybody or it's like um, maybe you feel by following through on your your desires or what your soul is telling you um, that there may be an element of sacrifice or change and you don't you haven't been wanting to um, you know let go of something that needs to let go so you can proceed ahead and if that's the case Capricorn you're going to feel it even stronger like change that must happen any sort of people and connections that need to be pushed um, more to the back burner uh, for whatever reason like all of that's going to become very very clear to you because with the wheel of fortune around you that's the destiny like your destiny is unfolding you got that times two with judgment and wheel of fortune so in April it's all about listening to that soul and by the end of April, things are moving for you at a fast pace and you're feeling accomplished and you're feeling good and you, you're feeling validated, like your intuition being validated because of what's now happening, what's now playing out in your life. All right, um, let's pull some clarifiers on the Three of Swords. Like, why do we have the sadness here? I feel this isn't like your 
heartbreaking um, because you really don't have any bad cards here. If anything, it's just kind of like something you don't want to let go of, you know, but you've got to. The star, seven of swords, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so there's the seven of swords is definitely like a loss, but I don't feel like this is a loss that emotionally rocks your boat and is incredibly devastating. This is something that has to happen or, or change and you know that like and it brings you success and I feel like there's been this hesitancy within you to act upon this or say what needs to be said because you didn't want to bring anybody pain or it, you um, have been mentally preparing yourself for this energy or this person to shift out of your life because this there is some element of sacrifice attached to that three of swords um i like to read positive and it isn't negative to me but um it's like you haven't wanted to let this go but you finally are going to because you just know in your soul and it's um there's something else coming in here it's it's time for this manifestation uh the time is now with the star and the ace of pentacles and it's like we've got to leave this seven of swords behind, whether it's a way of doing things, it's a relationship, it's a belief, um, it's uh, accommodating other people and pulling our energy back. Like some of you, it may be that you have been accommodating others and now it's time for you to pull your energy back and focus on you and what you want and what's going to make you happy. And not everybody's going to be happy about that, right? Capricorn, um, when somebody's really benefiting um, off of somebody and they don't have to really do much in return, they're, of course they're not going to want to let that go. But, you know, things ha have to play out as they will. And you got this Two of Cups um, here at the base of your reading. So I also do see, like, somebody coming in to help you out. Those of you that are... Uh, you know, really in pursuit of something and that that calling in your soul. There's help that comes in in the month of April for you guys in your like creative endeavors. Somebody really wanting to help you out, and with that sexual energy, talking about the sacral chakra, that is creative creativity. You're coming through as the Queen of Wands again. Um, fire, that's creative energy. So those of you that have like this really neat idea or, you, or you're trying to manifest, wow, as I'm saying that the three of uh, cups flew out, you keep at it, Capricorn. You're going to make something happen here, but there may be something you've got to leave behind. Maybe you, um, some of you uh, are doing like, this is just an example, like you're doing social media and you started out with one or two other people. And you're realizing for your success, your vision, you may need to go solo. And you may get an offer um, just for you that doesn't involve these other people you've been working with. And so that might be what this uh, sacrifice or sadness is where you've got to break away from like some sort of team or group of people you've been working with because there's this new offer that's coming in and new support coming in to help you. So let's pull more on this Two of Cups. Yeah, Temperance flipped. Ace of Swords, so you got this twice that ace of swords and the devil. The devil is the representation of you in the tarot. But, um, and we do have this fire energy. So uh, temperance is Sagittarius. The devil is Capricorn. So some of you, this could definitely involve a Sagittarius, okay, uh, with these coming out, like this uh, brilliant idea the two of you come up with. 
okay? Um, because I do see some partnership here for some of you. Somebody coming in to really help you, um, guide you, give you an offer, an opportunity, a helping hand towards your goals and your success, and it's time to shine forth. Like by the end of April, you, there is success coming in, and I feel strong like um, social media for some of you out there, not all of you, obviously, but we've got the star, we've got judgment, we've got the ace of swords twice, and the shine forth, and then like this eight of wands, like all energy, um, all eyes on Capricorn. So those of you that are like in these social media endeavors, um, I, there's a, a shift and a change taking place in April. It's ultimately for the positive for you guys. Um, but there may be like certain connections that are going to shift and change or the way you were going about something you have to let go of. And spirits like don't fear any sort of change um, at all because it's leading to really good things. And this April is a month of success for Capricorn no matter what like um, even if you are only resonating with bits and pieces of this reading you've got the dragon around you and you've got all this fire energy coming through and the judgment there are spirits angels um, passed on loved ones around you April is a time of movement and success that stems from like creativity um, gifts talents abilities this breakthrough um, this really neat idea, unexpected offer opportunity being extended to you, which opens a whole new world up to you, Capricorn. So April is success. It is a month of success, especially those of you that have these dreams and goals that you've been working on, these talents, these ideas. Man, give it your all in April. And it's like you just blow up. You have mad success. No matter what it is, you guys are all working and reaching towards different uh, dreams and goals, right? April's the month to just kick that into the highest gear possible. It's crazy. I'm going to uh, pull a few more clarifiers on this Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Look at what flipped as I was saying that. I, I don't even need to pull anymore. This is just Spirit saying, like, buckle in and hold on tight because where, uh, say, six months ago, what, you were, what you'll be doing and trying in April, it, you would not get nearly the same amount of success or momentum. It's like your, the stars are aligned for you guys, Capricorn, and uh, two Eight of Wands, communication coming your way, very positive, a lot of attention coming your way very positive energies moving at a rapid pace for you you got two ace of swords and two uh eight of wands like it doesn't get better than that like major breakthrough and i i believe we felt that as uh we were opening right like this breakthrough happening for you guys yeah and with those uh two aces of swords that's your assurance of that so that you can step into the spotlight Capricorn, major breakthrough, um, door opening, rapid movement towards success, uh, creative juices flowing, follow through on any new creative inspired idea that comes your way in April. Oh, you could just go so far with it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's pull one final message for you guys. The universe supports me in every way. It sure does in April, Capricorn. Give anything and everything that matters to you your all because you are going to make some magic in April. Those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.